This video is for integrated one. This is the semester two final review. This is homework number five, which is called the last homework. So this is dealing with um, inequalities, systems of inequalities in this section right here. And in this first one, since this is strictly less than, this is gonna be dashed and shade below. So I am going to have a point at y-intercept at three. I'm going to go up to over one to the right. Um, and let me just continue that pattern going backwards. And again, this is a dashed line. And that means that nothing on this line satisfies this inequality. And then I want to shade less than. So less than is going to be everything here. And then for the second one, this one is going to be greater than or equal to. So that is going to be solid and shade above. So for this one, my y-intercept is going to be negative 3. Um, my slope is a 1 half. So I'm going to go up 1 to the right 2, up 1 to the right 2. And this one is going to be a solid line. And then I'm going to shade above. So above this. And so you'll see that some of this is just the pink. Some of it is pink and blue. Some of it is just blue. And right down here, this part here would just be white. Okay. So we want where all of both of the inequalities are shaded at the same time. And so anything in this area here is going to be where my answer is. Um, on the next one, this is going to be um, strictly greater than, so that's going to be dashed and shade above. So that is a horizontal line at y equal negative 4. Let me make it a little thicker. And for this, we are going to be shading above. So everything above. Now, the other one is y is less than or equal to. So that one is going to be a solid line, and we're going to shade below. So this one, because it's less than, and equal to, let me get this a little thinner, um, less than and equal to, um, we, it's going to be a solid line. And we're going to shade below. So for this one, we have a y-intercept at negative 2. Um, my slope is 5 halves, so I'm going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to the right 2. One, two, three, four, five to the right two. And I am going to draw a solid line. And we want to shade below this line. So when I shade below this line, it's going to be everything here. And so our answers were both are shaded again, and that's going to be right here. Uh, 
on number nine. Um, this is a um, one variable inequality. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my X's on the same side. I'm gonna add two X to both sides. I'm gonna get four X is greater than 16. I'm going to divide both sides by four. And as long as I'm not multiplying or dividing by a negative, my inequality stays the same direction. So X is greater than four. That is gonna be my answer. I'm gonna put four here. This is going to be an open circle and I want everything greater. That's direct, the direction I'm gonna shape. On number 10, um, for this one, I'm gonna minus three, minus three from both sides. I am going to get a negative X is greater than two. To get rid of the negative, I am going to divide by a negative one. And when I divide by a negative one, that is going to change the direction of my inequality. It's now gonna become the opposite direction. So I'm gonna have X is less than negative two. And so I'm gonna have a open circle again at negative two. And this time I'm gonna to go to the left. For number 11, this is an absolute value inequality. So for this one, I am going to rewrite it as an equal um, and find my two boundary points. So I'm gonna work out X minus one is equal to 10 and X minus one is equal to a negative 10. I'm gonna add one to both sides and I get one boundary is 11. I'm gonna add one to both sides and I get that the other one is gonna be negative nine. So I'm gonna have at negative nine and 11. Um, this is going to be, since it's less than or equal to solid dots at both of them. And then I need to decide where to shade. Now, since it's less than or equal to, I'm not gonna shade outside of the two points, I'm gonna shade inside, but you can also test it out if you're not sure. Um, so for example, I could put zero in because zero is in between these here. So if I go zero minus one, and absolute value is less than or equal to 10, uh, negative one in absolute value is less than or equal to 10. One is less than or equal to 10, that's true. So I did shade in the right spot because I shaded where zero was. Now my answer, um, start with your smaller number, negative nine, it's gonna be less than or equal to X and it's still gonna be less than or equal to both of these have to point the same direction. Um, so less than or equal to 11. And that's the end of this. I'm gonna do another video on the backside of this, which is the D-Day.